Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be creating an icon-based mobile app menu in Figma. So it's something that you can click through, it's interactive, it has changing states, we are using smart animation to make this look really interesting and overall pleasant to interact with. If you'd like to download the source file for this, make sure to check the link in the description that will take you to my store. And now let's get into the video and let's see how this is created. First things first, we need to create a mobile app frame. So I'm gonna use the frame tool by pressing F and then clicking the iPhone 11 Pro in this right part of the screen. So we get this frame right here. First of all, we need to define the dimensions of this menu. So um, if we launch the prototype now, we get, not surprisingly, a blank white screen. Figma shows a whole phone, a whole iPhone. So that's really good to, uh, to imagine the final result. We're gonna use this to, let's say, create a rectangle, the menu container, and just checking whatever feels right. So why don't we go for like uh, 70? This is very useful for uh, simulating the final result. It's gonna be rounded, so let's just see how the shape fits in the overall layout. And I think this is, I think this is good. I think this is, this works well for this phone, for this particular size of our screen. And now we can get started with, with the rest. So I think if we use the text tool now, and let's say the menu will contain four pages, the first one is gonna be home, the second one is gonna be uh, items, you know, just making this very generic. Then we can do like messages and finally profile. So these are the four items this menu is gonna contain. So why don't we try the one that is currently act active is gonna be items. We're gonna choose a font that we like. So let's go for Avenue Rex, Demi Bold, and the size could be like 18 pixels maybe 20 so we could get we could have like four icons only one is active right now so, so this is what you'd get you'd get a menu where you'd have like four icons one of them would be active at a time and then the rest would have their their text hidden let's start building this so we have these four circles uh, that are 32 pixels which means the icons should fit into a 32 pixel frame so I'm gonna create a frame for icon or an icon and let's just put a placeholder right here it's gonna have just a stroke and it's gonna be gonna take up the whole frame right perfect we're gonna turn this into a component and we're, we're gonna call this component icons and these icons they're gonna have four versions so that's four versions right here and the versions are gonna be corresponding to these items so we're gonna go for home items message messages and profile, right? So you, you will have home, items, messages, and profile. I'm just very quickly gonna put some numbers within these icons so that we can see which version is that. Um, this is gonna be the first one, it's gonna be the second one, uh, third and fourth. And also we're gonna take this text and then go to assets and this little icons component, we're gonna use that over here. I will be removing the Oops, I will be removing the background of these icons, like so, and select these two and add an auto layout. This auto layout is gonna be called menu item. And this menu item is gonna have 18 pixels padding horizontal and a similar padding, although a bit smaller on the vertical axis. Also, it's gonna have fill, gonna be gray, like this, and it's gonna be fully rounded, which in this case means 32. I'm gonna duplicate this auto layout like so, and I'm gonna rewrite them to their corresponding names. So we have home items, messages, and profile. This also means we have to change the icons. So items, that's gonna be items, messages, that's gonna be messages, and profile, that's gonna be profile. Notice how it corresponds to these four. So we have this one, is, this variant of icons is named profile. So when we select profile from this drop-down menu, from the component instance, we get a matching result, right? Now I'm gonna select all of these auto layouts and press Shift A to add them inside another auto layout. And this auto layout is gonna be called menu. So this is our menu. 
but right now it looks very, very weird. So we're gonna add some padding and fix that. It's gonna have like five, six from each side. It's gonna have a background. It's probably gonna be light gray like this and it's gonna be fully rounded. So let's go for like 60 or whatever. We're gonna now select a color for each of these items. So for home, let's go for, let's go for yellow like this. For items, that's gonna be blue, for example. Messages, that's gonna be red. And profile, that's gonna be, I don't know, green. But since this, these colors actually look absolutely horrible, I'm gonna get inspired with some cool themes. So I downloaded this color theme from color.adobe.com. If you're an Adobe user, I strongly recommend using this whenever you are unable to create a good looking color scheme, which is me all the time. I really like this. Why don't we try and replace these colors with the ones we have on the screen right now? So yes, this is way better profile. All right, we could use this one final remaining color and say that that's gonna be the background. Why don't we, right? So the next step would be turning this menu into a component like so. And then I'm gonna just select the black color we have on the component right now and turn that into white, right? Um, and also the background that will be white as well. Next step would be defining the menu states, which means adding a variant and then two more. So we have four of them in total and actually one more just so that we have one as a default variant. In the first one, we're gonna be hiding all those layers that are not gonna be uh, visible. And then also I'm gonna be turning off the fills for these remaining menu items. But we need to somehow show that the icons are there, which means we're gonna select, select the second item and then go to selection colors and sample and to change this white color in the selection colors from white to the corresponding color. Same here and the same here, right? So this is what we get. Now, we're just gonna have to repeat the process three times to get a similar result for each of these variants. Hiding home, messages and profile, this one. Hiding items, home and profile, this one. And then finally hiding the first three on the very last one. And then selecting the first menu item in all of these, set the fill to zero and then selection colors and sample that from here. Then number two, turn off the fill, sample the color from here. Number three, turn off the fill, set the opacity to zero and selection colors, sample the third color. And finally, turn off the fill and sample the color to replace the white one right here. So here it is. Each one of those has a different menu items set as active. And we're gonna have to now place that just to test if it actually fits on the screen. So I'm gonna select the largest one, put an instance right here. Right, we've got our first obstacle, our first problem. It doesn't fit on the screen. You, we need to have some margins from the sides. How do we solve this? This probably means we would have to decrease these margins on these menu items. So I'm gonna select all these variants press enter and then edit these margins. So why don't we go for like 14 and 12 and then just shift enter to select the parent elements and go, go for four here. So we've shrunk the, the margins. Right now, the largest variant it fits on the screen quite comfortably. So we can, we can keep that one. Maybe we, we could even decrease the margin to two to make this look really to save a lot of space. Um, we're gonna rename our components, our variants. So the property one is not, not gonna be called property one, but it's gonna be called menu, let's say active item, right? The first one that's gonna be called none. There is no active item or just say not applicable. The first one is gonna be home. The second one is gonna be items. The third one is gonna be called messages. And the last one is gonna be called profile. I'm just gonna rearrange these a bit uh, like this. It's gonna say test screen. Now we have to create the icons. These numbers don't serve well as an illustration of these menu items. When it comes to home, 
I'm gonna create a very simple home icon. I'm gonna use a rectangle, add a stroke, uh, set this to center and then add another vertex. Remember all of this needs to fit within 32 pixels. So I'm gonna move that over here. You can see that it instant instantly updates everywhere. And actually let's let's fast forward until I create all of these because this tends to be very boring. So I'll see you once these are finished. Right, so I created a bunch of icons. And by the way, if you're interested in icon design, you can go and watch my playlist on icons. And um, if you'd like to see more icon designs, let me know in the comments. All right, so there's one problem. All these icons are black and that is not the correct way in this context. So I'm gonna just select these menu, menu items and then black icons that I have here in selection colors, I'm gonna turn that to white. Actually, I'm gonna select then the, all these variants and turn that to white as well. But then again, we have the same problem we already had and that is um, this, which means again, selecting, doing this once again, but never mind, it is very quick. So that is no problem. Take us like 20 seconds. Right, so we have all the icons, we have, we have them in the right place with the right color. And now we actually need to get to the prototyping. This means creating four screens. The first screen that's gonna be called the home. Second one, right, is gonna to correspond to these items. The second one is gonna be called items. Third one, messages. And fourth one, profile, right? We're gonna create headlines. So that means home. Uh, that's gonna be actually sitting here. If we test that, how that layout feels like. So this is our home. I'm gonna just set this to overlay, right? So this is home. This will be all the remaining ones, which is items, messages, profile, right? And um, right now, we this doesn't correspond at all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this one to home, this one to items, this one to messages, we'll just leave that be. And then this one, this last one, profile. I'm gonna center all of these. I'm gonna actually remove the test screen, remove these things, move that closer. And now we have to select prototype, select each of these icons and then, then set the location they are, they are going to. In the case of items, that's gonna be items. Very important, we need to keep smart animate, 300 milliseconds, ease out. Then this one right here, that's gonna go to home, also smart animate, um, messages going to messages and profile going to profile, messages, profile. So all of these three are set. This one is also all set. This one's going to home, items and profile. And finally, home items messages right so each of these icons on each screen when they are not active they're going to lead to their corresponding page it created this nice network of of an interactive menu and we're going to test this so we are at home we click on items messages profile and it works so this is the final result we have a menu with icons that we can click through one small change, these interactions, I think, could be a bit faster. Why don't we change that? So, I'm gonna select all of these, tabs mixed, but it's gonna take 100 milliseconds. This one is also gonna take 100 milliseconds. All these, also 100. This should speed up the transition, and I think it's better, right? So we have, this working menu where you can click through and navigate through an interface like this. Um, you can see that uh, if you want to show the badge, you know, if you want to show the text of the menu item, but at the same time you want to save some space, this is the way to solve that challenge. So thanks for watching. Again, if you'd like to download this source file, if you'd like to reuse this in your own project, check the link in the description and leave a like if you'd like to see more similar content. I do a lot of tutorials on UI and UX design in Figma. So if you like that, definitely go and check out my channel. Thanks for tuning in and as always, I will see you in the next one.